Hey everyone, uh, we're going to make your chord playing suck a little bit less. Let's do it. So, chords come from families or scales. I call them families. It's a little less dramatic, I think. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, so I'm going to talk about the key of E major. What we want to do, this can work. You can figure this stuff out for lots of chords, lots of keys, but let's just focus on E major for now. The chords within the key, you must know this. You can figure it out, you can search it online. You don't need to have it memorized. Um, but if I play up the scale harmonically with chords, we have E major, F sharp minor, G sharp minor, A major, B major, C minor, then we get the weird one half diminished and D sharp half diminished and then back to E major. What I want to do is I want to figure out how I can play a million different E, mi uh, e majors uh, without just having to play this one shape that I, I learnt. That's the first chord I ever learnt and that was E major as far as I was aware. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna play thumb on the sixth string and then I'm gonna pluck the uh, fingers one two three but I'm gonna pluck chord Chords, strings, four, three, two. That's it. I'm not going to play the fifth string, not going to play the first string. So now I don't need all my fingers. I can change them around. Now the second shape I used was a, a major, uh, sorry, major. <sighs> Jesus Christ, I need more coffee. Uh, I'm going to play a minor seven here because I, I can, but if I look at the chords, God, sorry, in French, chords is strings. It's really annoying. Uh, uh, so, I'm playing six, four, three, two. Now, if I'm playing six, I want to keep the six as a zero, as an E, because I'm trying to figure out E chords, E major chords. So I have my E major in that position. The next shape was this. But, because I want to keep the E open, I don't need the bar. I have three notes like this coming from this shape. I'm only playing the second, third, and fourth string. So it's a bar or three notes in a row with E. Hopefully that makes sense. Same concept. Next shape was G sharp minor. I'm using a minor seven. So I can then have these three notes. The next shape was A major. There is three notes on the same strings, two, three, and four. There is my major triad from A. Same thing happened with B. And you can keep going up through all the chords. I'm just going to use those for now. So instead, let's say I have a song for, and it has two, three, four bars of E major. Actually, I'll do the plucky thing, so I, may, I might be doing this. song or now I can be looking at it like well getting cool so that was all E major stuff E major something we don't care what it is we don't need to know that but it was E major something and I'm just using the shapes from chords within the key start stealing other notes from other positions, which I just did at the end there. So I'm going to steal this note from this position. Nice. Sounds good. So I stole those two notes. One from here, one from there, back to there. You can do it with the chord shapes. Stuff. Then you start adding in other chord shapes you may know that are E major. For instance, I know this one and I like to play. So then when I do that pull off, it kind of leads me to that three note shape, whatever. So.
Yeah. Um, if I put it in a more musical context. <laughs> the idea pick the chord or the key find the chords within the key figure out the shape or the strings you want to pluck and then steal shapes all up the neck you can then if you really want to go another step further you could figure out all of the F sharp minor chords that you know and see if they work with E major so you're, you're thinking e, 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 with lots of F sharp major, minor shapes. Oh, I'm getting confused now. That's it. I'm going to bed. It's 12.30 in the afternoon. And I'm, yeah, anyway. So hopefully that's helpful and you can start playing cool stuff and sucking a little bit less. Uh, there you go. Hit me up for Skype lessons if you want to explore this sort of stuff more. I'm open for teaching uh, Skype if you're not in Lyon, France. Like, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.